Hey guys, welcome back to the third video on Taylor series. I'm going to teach you guys how to get an approximation for sine of x, okay? So it's the same exact rules. We're going to take the function sine of x and we're going to take the derivative many, many times. So f of x will be sine x, the derivative of sine is cosine x, and the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So you got to make sure you know those first. Your third derivative will be negative cosine x, and then it starts to repeat itself. We're going to uh, make sure that this is centered about x equals 0, okay? So we're going to basically come up with a polynomial that we can approximate numbers really close to 0. So let's plug in 0. So if you remember from the e to the x video, we just do the same exact steps. We're going to substitute this center, which is 0. Sine of 0, 0. Cosine of 0, 1. Negative sine of 0, 0, negative cosine of 0, negative 1, 0, 0, and then cosine of 0 is 1. And I just wanted to get those numbers because many of the terms will be 0. So I want to make sure you get a good look at what sine is. So the polynomial, all right, or sine of x um, will be, we're going to f of c, well, that's this guy here, so that's going to be 0. You still have to count them. This guy here is this guy here, so that's 1. Remember, it's centered around 0, so c is 0, so I'm just going to put x plus next guy here is 0, so I don't really care about this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Next one is negative 1, x to the third over 3 factorial then 0, and then the last one will be plus, well, not the last one, but the last one in this example would be plus 1x to the fifth over uh, 5 factorial. So what you guys will notice here is that this goes, this goes, and only the odd exponents stay. Only the odd exponents stay. So sine of x can be approximated by doing x minus x to the third over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial minus x to the seven over 7 factorial, and so on. Do you guys recall in pre-calculus when teachers were teaching you guys about sine of x was an odd function? How amazing is that? Well, let's continue with this. So we just learned 10 seconds ago that sine of x is all the odd um, exponents, okay? So it's an odd function. So I wanted to start with 2011, uh, question number six, and just part A in this case, because I didn't teach you guys cosine yet, so I'm not going to assume that you know it. So how does this, what happens here? It says, let f of x equals sine x squared plus cosine x. Great. And they give you this graph of y, which is shown above, but I don't have it here because I don't need it for this example. Write the first four non-zero terms of the Taylor series of sine x about x equals zero, and then write the first four non-zero terms of the Taylor series for sine x squared about x equals zero. So you guys should come to the table knowing that sine is odd, okay, and writing the first four terms. Well, we already wrote that on the previous page, but that's okay, and it's right, obviously it's above, so I'm gonna need this part. And if you guys remember, Okay, so they don't want the general rule, so you don't have or the general term, you don't have to go further. Okay, so here are four non-zero terms. And if you guys remember from the e to the x video, which is the first video, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this sine of x squared and just apply it the same way I did with the e to the 2x. So every time I see an x, I'm gonna substitute x squared. So x squared goes in there, x squared to the third over 3 factorial plus x squared to the fifth over 5 factorial, and finally x squared. Take your time and make sure you do it right. Remember that a power to a power you multiply, so you get x squared minus x to the sixth over 3 factorial uh, plus x to the uh, tenth excuse me, x to the 10th over 5 factorial, I believe that's 120, and then minus x to the 14th over 7 factorial, 
and you are basically done with this part, okay? So that's how we do sine x. I wanna to try to make these videos really short. Come back for cosine x, and then we're gonna put everything together. I'm gonna to show you so many amazing tricks, all right? So hopefully everybody just remind yourselves that sine x is an odd function.